ba 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 da ba chicken tails. Hello, and welcome to Chicken Tales. I'm so happy you've joined us today. My name is Sarah, and this is episode 18. Today we have a story from Eliza, and the final chapter of The Great Maple Heist by William. Plus, a funny joke and a silly activity of the day. So finish up your rainbow painting, find a listing spot, and get ready to listen to some chicken tales. Our first story is called Carter the Witch, and it's by Eliza. Once upon a time, there was a witch named Carter who lived in a neighborhood. No one wanted to be friends with her because they were a bit scared of her, so she flew far away. She met new friends named Carly, who was a lion, Mealy, another lion, and Pumpkin, who was a monkey. They played soccer together. Carter loved the new friends that she made. She decided not to fly back to her old neighborhood, and she stayed there forever. The flowers at her old house missed her so much and felt very sad. They wanted to fly with her, too. The End Oh, Eliza, what a great story! Thank you for sending that in! I'm so glad that Carter found new friends and she was able to stay with them. I hope the flowers somehow got to her as well. Do you think she flew back and got them? Let us know. What do you guys think? Do you think Carter went back to get her flower friends? I bet she did. I looked up some facts about lions. Did you know that a lion's roar can be heard from five miles away? Wow! Also, in the wild, lions rest up for 20 hours a day. That means that some lions are only awake for four hours a day. Whoa! They might be tired because some lions can run up to 50 miles an hour, but only in short bursts because they get worn out. Also, lions are the second largest cats in the world behind tigers. And now it's time for joke of the day. What do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back to you? A stick. Our second story today is the final chapter of The Great Maple Heist by William. Chapter 3. A Resolution So when we last left off, Fred and Sheila had discovered two treasure chests full of maple syrup jars. They brought them back up to show Billy and John Deere. The group looked back at the trees again, and this time, they saw something. They got closer and found out it was an elf! He said his name was Doodle. Doodle said he was sorry for stealing the trees. You see, he wanted his own maple syrup factory because he loved maple syrup, and he wanted to make people happy by giving it to them. Doodle apologized again and gave the trees back, and Billy gave him a job in his factory. Doodle, Billy, Fred, John, and Sheila became best friends and stayed together from then on. The End William, thank you so much for sending in the last chapter. Did the rest of you guess that it would be an elf? I didn't. I did not guess it would be an elf, let alone one named Doodle. I understand why Doodle wanted the maple trees, but I think that wasn't the best way to go about it. Next up, the silly activity of the day. For our silly activity today, How about you be a witch, like Carter? Can you make any potions? When I make magic potions, I use water and leaves and flower petals. Or how about you fly around your house on a broom? If you haven't yet quite learned how to fly and you're still working on it, you could probably just walk around your house with a broom. Try to sweep every once in a while. Help clean up with your magic broom. Could you make some spells? Here, I have one. I'm going to try it. Hoogity boogity, here comes the mail. Turn this dinner plate into a chicken tail. Hmm, I might have to work on that some more. Nothing happened. 
I'll work on it and let you guys know. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for listening. I want to let you know that next Thursday is our last episode of Chicken Tales for Season 1. So, send in your stories for the last two episodes next week. And the next time you are counting eggs with a friendly chicken, ask it to tell you some stories. But if it doesn't have any, you can write one yourself and send it in to us at chickentailspod at gmail.com. You can also send in your art for our Instagram account at chickentails. Eliza sent in the finished draft of her story, and it's up there. Go check it out. Okay, bye-bye. Ba-ba-ba-da-ba, chicken tails!